What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then my name is Brianna, but you can call me Bree. This is my dad, and today we're going to be making these fishing lures. These fishing lures are to catch Spanish mackerel, and they're awesome. But first, let me explain a little something. This fishing lure was given to us like two years ago from a commercial fisherman, one year that we were fishing mackerel. We weren't catching a lot that year and the guy saw us struggling so he gave us this lure. This lure helped us catch a lot. He gave us a few so we caught a few with them and we've been searching for years to find a way to replicate them and we've finally done it. So today we're going to be showing you guys how to make these. Safety first. First of all we're going to cut it like this. This is a steel metal sheet. 18 by 6 inches long. It's a piece like this and you can do about 20, 25 out of one sheet. This is the one Brianna was telling you guys. We had it for a while. We just make it flat to use it as a template. When we had our piece, a small piece, we go ahead and mark it with a pencil and then we can go ahead and cut it since it's 22 gauge. There you have it. And then what we do is we we'll make a flat. And the small part is going to be for the hook. And the little thick part is going to be for the line. We're going to install heavy duty number eight hook ring. What we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, do a little bend in the middle. So it gives you a strong So what this create is it won't let bend it and you, okay? So now it's a stronger piece to do a lure. That's what we do. Now we're gonna use a metal bead, 1A. It's gonna be good for the hook. It's gonna be good for the ribbit. And it's gonna be good for the hook ring, all three. So we have this in here, which is kind of little template. So we know where we have to drill. And then we do it like this. In the middle. We clean a little bit. And then one more for the ring. And then this one, the one for the hook, we do this. We go for the other side and we give a little angle to the hole and drill it so that way you see that dent in there that's gonna help for the hook and then we come back here and we grab a hook okay this is a mustang shark hook messy i don't know what it is but it's a hook they sell it to be put it together uh to do kingfish or triple hook this is the one word for us good on this and then since it has this hole not not close at all it has little open, it worked perfect. We go like this. And then when we're in position, bend a little bit. And then we grab a rivet. Rivet is going to go through the rivets. They an Amazon. It's a 100 piece, 1A, aluminum. So never it's going to rust. And it's uh, pretty cheap. I think I paid for this $5.99 for 100 I think I paid $6 for the rings and that's going to be a lot of material to be making this the entire year. And then we grab the, the rivet tools and then we just push it in all the way, crank one, two, three, four, and there we have it. What we do now is I just make this small and then I got, you see this mark because this is, has the form of this inside. So we'll put the hook this way so it's not in our way. And that doesn't go in anywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this ring. We had this. There you go. 
So this is basically the lures. Now what we're gonna do is just clean the edge. So when you handle it on your hand, it's not scratching the kids and all that. We're gonna use a, any kind of pro, the primer and seal. And then we're gonna use this to make it look like a stainless steel. This dry really fast, but since we only doing video for you guys, we just gonna show you, not gonna wait. Looks like stainless steel instantly. So Far as you guys can see already dry, and then uh, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make it shining as a like a bait. We bought this little tape off Amazon. It's like five dollars, and it makes the bait shine underwater really well. It's very flashy, and it looks like a real live bait. This is how we do it. We just put a piece right there. And then we come back here. And then we do this side. And then that's how it's done. This fish, we like to fish it with a spinning rod around 2,500, 3,000 spinning reel, nothing big. Because you gotta think about it, you have to be uh, all the time jigging, uh, reeling fast as you can, as you guys gonna see in the video, and move the bait. So it looks like a sardine or glass minnow running underwater, and then they bite. So we started with a piece like this, four feet, and we figured out when you do this long, they don't bite too much. And then also, when you lose mm, one time you lose or two times, they start buying more and more and more. And then right now, for us, we're really well. Our lucky number is this. So I'm gonna match them for you guys, so you guys know. Two feet. This is just where you end it. 24 inches. So it, since it's not too long, uh, it's easy to cast it really far. And then we use it with the 50 pound braid in our, in our reel. You guys should watch our last video for Spanish mackerel. They bite crazy with this. And this is right here. You have a uh, trolling lures. It costs an Amazon $9. And our cost on this is $1.25. I hope you guys like it. Any question, comment below.